We're going to walk you through the installation of the JL oil separator for your Ford Bronco. Including the JL oil separator kit is a fully assembled oil separator with quick connect fittings, a mounting bracket, mounting bolt, and mounting screws. The tools you'll need for installation is a 10 millimeter socket, ratchet, and a Phillips head screwdriver. Let's get started. The first thing we're going to do, we're actually going to prep our oil separator for installation. So we're going to install the mounting bracket onto the can. Just align the two logos. Should be facing the same direction. Use the supplied screws. We're gonna to need to remove the factory PCV line, which is here from the valve cover, the PCV valve to the intake manifold. I'm gonna release the fitting on the valve cover first. There's a little blue tab, you just push it back, lift up, and then you can actually rotate this one around to get access. Again, little tab, pull it away from the fitting, and pull off. There's a pre-existing threaded hole off of the intake manifold we're going to utilize to mount our j bracket, which is this one here. There's two, but it's the raised one. So grab your oil separator assembly and bracket, use a supplied bolt, and get that started. And then you're going to make your connections, you're going to rotate the assembly back. The short line goes to the intake. If this fitting is facing the wrong direction, say it's, you know, like that, um, you could rotate the hose at the can, or you could also twist these fittings in the hose. So just do whatever makes the most sense for layout. And you're going to make your connection at your valve cover with the 90 degree fitting. And again, you can twist this hose to make this layout a little differently you know you don't want a lot of stress on the can or the bracket and then once everything is aligned where you need it all you're gonna do is tighten up your bolt the reason the can is pivoted back here is that this oil separator is compatible with our extension which doubles the capacity and we needed to get the can past this raised lip so if you're gonna run the extension be mindful of where the bracket is twisted to buy you clearance to get past this area. Once the extension is installed, you can actually still remove the entire assembly without taking the can off the bracket. There's enough space. So we're gonna go ahead and tighten up that bolt. Now, if you wanted to completely remove the oil separator from the vehicle, say to clean it at a later date, to remove these fittings, it's a little different than the factory fittings you actually see on this green tab it says push do not remove these clips you don't need to remove them completely you literally just press that button in and it pops it right off and then to reinstall obviously just press it right back down very easy Average collection on a 2.7 EcoBoost is about an ounce of oil every thousand miles some a little less some a little more what we would suggest is that you check it at about 500 or 1,000 miles after installation, and that'll give you a good judge of how frequently you need to check your own. If you have a hard time remembering that you need to check your oil separator, we would suggest that you do the extension to buy you some more capacity. And also a very helpful thing is to just set a reminder in your phone. Uh, you can set up on your calendar like a reoccurring event every four to six weeks, depending on how much you drive to uh, just notify you, hey, check your oil separator. So do that. If you have any questions, please reach out. We thank you for watching. We'll see you on the next one.